Hi there! So today I am out here and I'm going to be planting some uh, sunflower seeds. I'm going to direct sow them into the ground so we'll see how they do. It has warmed up a little bit here in Michigan, finally. We've been waiting for some warm weather here. Sometimes it just takes us a little bit longer. That's okay, we can wait. Um, so I've got my watering can here and I have these seeds. They're called Sunflower Vanilla Ice. Never planted these before, so we'll see how they do. But they look like they're gonna be really pretty. And I'm gonna plant them down in my rose garden area since I don't have a ton of roses yet to fill that area in. I had the birds uh, plant me some sunflowers last year. They kind of gifted me some sunflowers as they flew by and dropped me some seeds. And I loved them down there. So I was like, I think I'm gonna plant some on purpose this year. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, they say they take, uh, I'm just gonna read the back while you look at the front. Um, it says 10 to 15 days to emerge. The spacing is um, a group of three seeds every 18 to 24 inches. And yeah, it says one to do one to two weeks after your average last frost date, which is, we're well past that. And then it does have information on the back when to start it inside, but again, we're way past that. So we are gonna try to just direct sow these. Um, I have my tiny little shovel here. <laughs> this is the coolest shovel ever. Don't you guys love that? It's literally like the size of my finger. I love it. I got it for Christmas and I haven't used it yet. I just dug it out of my junk drawer. So, <laughs> All right, let's fill my can up with some water. Take a walk down to the soon to be rose garden and we will get these planted. Let's go. Oh, and the other day I fixed up my little grass right in here and it is a little bit warm so I put this umbrella over it during the day so it doesn't get so hot and it doesn't get sun on it so it's doing pretty well so far My delphiniums are looking great. And look at that. Nice little chipmunk hole. <gasps> Goodness. All right, my roses are looking good too. I do have to come in here and that Princess Anne is done blooming so I'm gonna have to trim it up. So the other day I was getting ready to go to church and then the morning and a bunny was out here. All right guys, I'm on my way to church. Like I have all my church clothes on and I have to sing this morning, but there is a bunny running around my garden. And I have no idea if this is gonna do anything, but I'm wrapping up my roses in some burlap until I can get home because I can't. I feel like they've been nibbling on a couple of them and I, I can't and I'm probably gonna be late for church and I'm never late for anything, but I, I gotta priorities. <laughs> so I put up like this uh, netting around here just to keep them safe for a minute. Um, but, and I did it on these ones over here too, but I do have to show you the generous gardener is blooming. If you can see it through that ugly black netting. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, here, oh, let me get in the sh or shadow so you can see it better. But it's so pretty. It's got tons of buds on it. I just had to wrap it up just in case the bunnies tried to get at it. And then over here, I planted impatience <laughs> in the full sun. Um, we will see how they do. I, I'm not really expecting anything to happen with these. It's just kind of an experiment because I planted them last year in the part sun and they did really, really good. So I just wanted to try it out. But I think for now, I'm gonna plant these sunflower seeds here. Um, 
probably like right in there and we'll see what happens. So let's do it. All right, let's see here. They're so tiny. Oh, there's one more in there. Okay, I'm just gonna like set them on top of this paper. <laughs> Hope they don't blow away. to take my gloves off for this one. Pretty sure we're safe from poison ivy right here. Okay, let's see here. So it said get about three seeds every 12 to 15 inches. I think. Let me see. Uh, one fourth to a half an inch deep. Oh, every 18 to 24 uh, inches. So there, we go like here. here I'm gonna go ahead and trim back my roses I've got some dead heads on them so we're just gonna give those a little cut back And there are also a couple delphiniums that had uh, that had weak stems and they fell over. So I'm just gonna cut them and bring them inside and put put them in a vase inside.
That one. And that one. Do you see it fell over? I had it. I have it staked up, but it's not working. So I'm just going to cut it. Those would be really pretty in a vase inside. And I know I've said before that I don't really plant a lot of perennials unless they unless like the foliage does something uh, before or before and after it blooms um, because I just feel like a lot of perennials just kind of give you that like messy kind of look in your garden and I don't like that necessarily. Um, delphiniums however I love planting delphiniums because not only um, are they beautiful and they bloom like this for quite some time um, if you cut them back they always come back and bloom a second time for me. So that is worth it for me. If it's gonna bloom a second time, I'm like, let's get it in the ground. So anyway, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna put these in a nice, pretty little vase. And yeah, that's all for today. Kind of a short little day, but um, that little packet of uh, sunflower seeds has been just uh, calling my name and I haven't got to it yet, so thought it was the perfect time to get out here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.